this science teacher is throwing a curveball. We're going to take a look today at why this happens. So why is it that curveballs curve? Well, let's suppose you've thrown a baseball so that it's traveling this way, but it also happens to be spinning like this. What we want to do is look at how the air will travel around the sides of the ball as the ball travels through the air. If you look on this side of the ball, what will happen is air molecules coming in will kind of track along the ball and ultimately be thrown this way. And this can be seen in sort of like wind tunnel type experiments. If you look at air that tries to pass around the other side of the ball, it will kind of get hung up as shown. But the thing to really notice is that the ultimate effect of the ball traveling through the air is the air molecules have been pushed in this direction. So the thing to remember is if the air, if the ball pushes the air in that direction, then the air itself will push the ball in the opposite direction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So in my diagram here, the ball has thrown the air downward, and so the air is going to have to throw the ball upward in this picture. And so ultimately what happens is the final path of the ball will be like this. It's going to curve toward the direction in which the, toward the side in which the air had in kind of an easier time getting around the ball. Remember that the ball is going to curve toward the side in which the air has an easier time passing through the, passing by the ball. So if you look at the movie here, what's happening is as I release the ball, my fingers are passing around the left hand side of the ball. So the left side of the ball is actually spinning toward you and the right hand side of the ball is spinning away. So the air is going to have an easier time slipping by the right-hand side of the ball. So remember, the ball will curve toward the side on which the air has an easier time getting by, and that's exactly what we see in this movie. So if we spin the ball the other way, which is exactly what happens when somebody throws a screwball, and you'll see that in this, in this movie, Notice in this movie, the way the ball is released is my fingers now pass on the right-hand side of the ball, transferring spin to it so that the right-hand side is spinning toward you and the left side is spinning away. So the air is going to have an easier time getting by the ball on the left-hand side. And so you notice it spins that way. This is called a screwball. It's just released so that it's spinning the other way. All right, so just kind of to play them one more time, here is a screwball. And here is a standard curveball.